Welcome Virgo to your May 2017 love and general reading. So overall, as I'm looking at the cards, you do have a lot of energy when it comes to finances. Career could be on the mind, a lot of obligations, trying to find balance, a lot of busy energy. You know, you do have Mars in Gemini activating your 10th house of career public status in your outward expression within your community, whoever you may be around uh, within your local community or uh, just in your job atmosphere. And you do have the sun being in Taurus, activating your ninth house of mental exploration, long distance travel. So a lot of travel, a lot of communication, intellectual pursuits, spiritual pursuits, or you're studying and learning something new, going to school or whatever it may be, but you may be typing on social media, expressing yourself, um, what you've learned, um, spiritual things, or what you have been through when it comes to your relationships and life path. So those are some energies to focus on this month. In the position of your emotions, you do have the nine of wands. And this energy is coming out um, consistently for you for the last couple of weeks or month. And you have the eight of pentacles reversed. Some of you are possibly thinking about leaving a job or relationship because of imbalance. You're not happy. You're a bit bored. You feel struck, stuck. You know, there's not a lot of passion. It's not exciting to you. The person may just be a bit boring at times or they're not excitable. Um, maybe there's a lot of bickering and arguing. You know, at times, if you had an old relationship, this could be an ex-partner or co-workers or whatever it may be, that environment, that relationship may not have brought you what you actually wanted. Also, the Eight of Pentacles reverse could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus that you have been dealing with. It could be a family member or friend or someone that you have been trying to get through to when it comes to them getting themselves on their feet to be a stable person, to be responsible, to give effort into the things that they want. You say that you want this, you want this relationship to work, you want to relocate, you want things to happen in your life in a better way. Well, you have to make those decisions and plans and it all takes effort on your part. We have a body, we have to put out the action, we have to get down and do the work if we do wish for things to happen. So I do feel like either some of you have addressed these issues with a family member, a child, or your romantic partner in some way, or even your employer, your boss, or something like that, where you address the imbalance of, you know, too much work coming your way, too many obligations, not enough work, or things that you know that can be turned around or shifted. And you may be kind of, you know, this energy is about battle. It's protecting yourself, your decisions, your relationship, the decision that you actually made when it comes to love. Maybe you are in love with someone, you told an ex-partner this, and now you're making sure that they don't squander or get into your business or relationship and try to make arguments or start arguments with you or your partner. So that protective energy, if you feel hurt by someone, you're willing to fight for what you want or fight for what you believe in in some kind of way. So that's what you're feeling emotionally, like you're either waiting for something to happen or waiting for someone to approach or address you or something like that, all right? And this could be your, um, <laughs> these could be legal matters, you know, a family or a friend or whatever it may be, someone you're kind of um, waiting around to make sure that they don't bother you in some way. So you do have in a position of your partner's emotions, if you do have a partner, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. They could be dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. So this could be you that they're seeing in this way. They may see you as someone who's not stable, uh, someone who is having some issues on the home front. You may be alone. You may, because you're alone, you may be insecure or feeling insecure. Your partner may see you this way. Also, because these are in the energies of your partner, they may be having these issues where now, they're trying to gain stability. They're working, you know, back and forth to work, helping out their mother, father, maybe an ex-partner in some way. 
you know, that they're still having some issues and arguments with. And this could be that third party kind of situation that some of you are in. If you are married in some way, uh, the Ace of Pentacles is showing out about new blessings, new opportunities, a new job, new employment, you know, uh, just putting in the work and effort. And I feel like if you see the energies of the eight of pentacles reversed whoever this may be that you are connected with they're trying to change their ways turn some things around so that you two can be harmonious and be on the same page and not go through these battles and ups and downs even if this is separation your partner could be you know moving into better uh, terrains and trying to uh, take care of their obligations and take care of themselves so uh, the Queen of Pentacles reverse can mean that a lot of times you're working so much that you're neglecting your home, the kids, responsibility, and it's a, a big distraction. You know, you can the home can be a mess while you're just out and about. And sometimes this is happening because you and your partner may not even even if you're sleeping in the same bed, you could have your back turned towards one another. No one is helping clean up. No one is making sure that the place is smelling good or that. The kids are taken care of going to school or just around the home day in and day out. So, you know, those energies are some kind of things that your partner could be going through or you are going through. But I do see some positive energy, even though, you know, the, the imbalance may be there. Um, I feel like he's trying to or she's trying to gain some um, security financially. All right. So that could be part of the separation between you two. You do have in the position of your advice, you have the Magician, Major Arcana, along with the Four of Wands. This is about, I see here, studying something, you're learning something. Sometimes this is going to school, maybe some of you are a teacher. You're studying to be a supervisor or a leader or something of that way. This is partially due to, remember Mercury is in retrograde. It will be going um, direct this month, I think around the 6th of May and the six or eight or something like that and when it does move direct it helps you out as well because mercury is your i think is your co um your co-ruler all right it's about communication and travel you know that you like to communicate you know you like to articulate your words you like to you know communicate and get things off your chest and speak to people intellectually and if that's blocked that could be very frustrating as when mercury is moving um retrograde the planet uh jupiter who is your ruling planet as well as pisces that is um retrograde as well in the sign of libra and libra is your second house so that is retrograding in your place of finance security your material possessions your self-worth all of those things have been challenged and i think that you have been reassessing those things and if you've kind of dropped the ball you're turning things around again you're saying okay universe god angels i'm willing to take on more responsibility or i'm ready to make these changes to get back on my feet and now i'm taking what you're offering me you know i almost see like the magician is the script or scroll that it's in his hand it's a blessing it's the message or the map to manifest your desires to spruce up your own energy levels again whether this is a new love interest manifesting a new home a new city somewhere that you want to move to just whatever it is renewal of some kind celebration harmony just enjoying yourself going out and about that's why i feel that that two of pentacles is there you know as well um Many different things that you're doing, school, family, socializing, you know, those kind of things. I'm um, very busy energy. So when the advice is coming out, just focus on the blessings, focus on communicating, being able to get your point across. The magician is magical in ways. And a lot of times it's a spiritual gift when this card is coming up. It's about new beginnings, of course, but creativity, you know, being creative when it comes to your power to communicate. You know, so have fun with that. Be creative with that and also enjoy, you know, possible, you know, possibly some marriages here, you know, proposals or engagement with another person. But being around friends and family and a big move could be on uh, the agenda. All right. So that's your advice. You know, be, embrace the energy of the magician. Now, you do have the outcome energy of the two of Pentacles and the hangman. 
when I'm shuffling the cards, the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands popped out first. And the Queen of Wands or Fire Energy is, has been showing up for you for a lot, a lot of time. And that's the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That's someone that you're currently dealing with or someone from your past. A lot of times I feel like this has been someone in your past that you still have been dealing with. And it does mean that you're possibly indecisive about how to communicate with this person, how to handle issues that you and this person have gone through. This could be a romantic partner, a child, a family member, friend, boss, whoever it may be. But in the upright position, I feel like this person is very strong, passionate. You know, they could be someone who is playful at times. They could be bossy, but they could be an athlete. They could be a teacher of <laughs> some kind that you're around or anything like that. But I feel like there could be two partners that you are thinking about, you know, someone from your past. You're thinking about going back to them or whether or not this person is going to should you even interact with them at all because they may start up an argument or they may say some kind of things where it could cause some hostile issues and things so you're trying to find ways to navigate with this person the energies with this person all right and i feel like you're trying to figure out if you can trust them or not and as i'm saying that the timer on the recorder was 11 11 and on my phone was 1133 you know that is messages from the divine coming through and i feel like this person is very significant um that's around you or that you know about all right for a lot of you this fire sign person doesn't have to be the sign but whoever this is you're um, trying to decipher uh how you should approach him or her and the hangman is here about surrender sacrifice spirituality needing to allow time to go before actually jumping to conclusions before making a certain decision even if you've made a decision already i feel like some of you may just be isolating yourself right now because even though there may be chemistry there with another person from the romance angels there's a strong magnetic attraction here even though you have an attraction to someone you may not be sure of their intentions again or you may not be sure whether or not this person is going to start some kind of fight with you or your the person that you may be in love with or that you have um, this attraction to. So uh, even though that energy is there, you may feel like you're going to miss this opportunity out. Maybe it's an opportunity when it comes to career, you know, um, competing for a job or something like that. Or you may feel like love is a competition or something like that in a way. And it shouldn't have to be like that at all. You know, but I do feel like there's some um, isolation uh, that's in the cards for you this month. Staying to yourself, not really wanting to talk or socialize at times. And when you do socialize, it could be giving off the energies of your sentiments or what you have gone through within a situation or what someone has put you through. Um, just uh, some grievances and expressing that. But, you know, be yourself, of course. You know, I don't have to tell you that, you know every one of you you know you live by that philosophy so um just uh, embrace these energies i do hope that these messages uh, resonated with your situation i wanted to also remind you as you add these cards up it adds to a 10 now the 10 outright is endings you know which is leading to new beginnings which is the number one so still there's transition that's taking place for a lot of you you know, either you are single or you're um, you're wanting to be with someone, but you're still, you know, pretty much single. You're not spoken for just yet because the relationship may not be uh, solidified or concrete or known just yet. So um, even if you are with someone, I do feel like there's possibly endings to some bad energy and, you know, running into some new beginnings once you, you know, your partner get yourselves back on your feet, especially between you two pinnacles are showing up, which is about security and balance. So again, I hope these messages resonated, you know, much love, much light to you. If you would like a private reading, you can always come to me via my Facebook page, or you can email me to set up something specifically for you. Much love again and much light.